If you guys are like me, you're sick of the constant disconnects, the range issues, and all the other stupid problems you get from the consumer grade Wi-Fi products. Today, I'm gonna try and change that. So what's up guys and welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna take a look at the Ubiquiti APAC long range uh, wireless access point. What this is, is this isn't a router, you know, it's not a switch. All this is is a wireless access point. So this plugs in um, to your switch or to your, um, you know, your network router, whatever you have in your system, it's gonna vary. And uh, this replaces, you know, the wireless function on your network router, wireless router. Um, it's supposed to have really great range, uh, really great connectivity. Um, and the cool part about it is it's are scalable. So I can take one of these and put it on one side of your house or office. I can put one on the other side. Um, basically all you do is plug and play. As long as you're on the same network, they, um, they will work together and uh, give you great coverage. Uh, some of the features of this thing, uh, it's, it's uh, dual band. It's got the five gigahertz as well as the 2.4 gigahertz, which is cool. Um, this is the long range model, which I got. Um, I have a little bit of trouble in my house because my Wi-Fi router is on the front side of my house in my office. And if I'm somewhere in the back, like say the office, or I'm sorry, like say the bedroom, um, or outside in the backyard, I get really, really bad, bad, bad coverage and very, very slow internet. And I've had enough. So I'm gonna install this somewhere centrally in the middle of my house and hopefully it'll increase my coverage and I'll get better coverage throughout my house. Um, so with that being said, Let's take a look at it, shall we? Let's open it. Okay, let's go ahead and open this box up. You can see the front here. This is the Ubiquiti Network Unify APAC, a long range model. Uh, it is 802.11ac. It's scalable enterprise Wi-Fi technology. So once again, not really um, consumer grade. Uh, it does have a little bit of a setup to it. It's not, not quite plug and play, but um, hopefully the, the trade off for good range will be worth it. Like I said, it's 5 gigahertz, 2.4 gigahertz, uh, 13, 17 megabits per second uh, dual radio. On the back side here, um, you can see you can build your own Wi-Fi network, uh, indoor long range dual radio access point, cable speeds of 13, 17 megabits per second, or MBPS with a range of up to 183 meters. So pretty far. Now you can see some of the features, dual band as I said before, uh, and the range 600 feet. Uh, what it includes is the access point, a uh, wall and ceiling mounting kit, the PoE adapter, which is a 24 volt, which is not standard. Uh, that's not a standard voltage for standard PoE networks, but um, still very workable. You can work it in no problem. I mean, a quick start guide. So let's see if we can get it open here. Take a look at what's in the box. some uh, other products they make here. Uh, packaging. All right, and here's the access point. Pretty small. I don't know, about the size of a dinner plate maybe. Small dinner plate. That's our mounting bracket. And our connection in there. And that's it, you notice there is just one connection. There's no connection for power or anything like that. Just one simple ethernet connection. So what else we got? Here's a metal plate for mounting. Here's our power cable that will work with our POE, or power over ethernet injector. Quick start guide right here. And here's the POE injector. I'll open that up so you can see what that looks like. Uh, basically this just takes power from the wall, and on the other side we have our PoE and our LAN. So basically we'll have our LAN coming in from our network, and then out from here to our uh, Ubiquiti access point. So this is what provides the 24 volts to this to power it. So basically all you have to run is to get the, you know, the wire, you know, power to wherever you're running this. So it really gives you some flexibility on where you mount this. Um, you don't have to have an outlet nearby or run an extension cord. All you need is the ethernet. So I guess I'm gonna go ahead and try and get this thing installed and maybe do a couple tests and we'll see how 
I'll come back and let you know what I think. Okay, I'm going to show you a little bit about the, some of the quick features we got here. This is kind of the home screen or dashboard. Here's a really cool map. You can actually set it to the scale of your building and you can actually show you where access points are and things like that. Uh, clients, nobody's connected right now. Uh, some statistics. Um, inside kind of gives you a rundown, a quick view. Uh, here's some of the configurations of this stuff. You can turn the LED off, that kind of thing. Uh, here's a network I got set up. You can set up a guest network. You can set up multiple network. You can set up, uh, you can actually charge people to use your network. Uh, admins, user groups, VOIP. I mean, just tons of stuff. Controller, cloud access, maintenance. So, you know, lots to do. Um, yeah, really, this video is just a quick overview. So, there you have it. So, there it is, guys. I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, just to recap, you know, this access point is really great. I haven't used it very long, but I can tell you it is way better than my AC router network, whatever you want to call it, that I bought from the big box store. So like I said, um, look into it. It's great because it's scalable. You can have a bigger house. You can place it, you know, multiple access points throughout. Uh, it should work together to provide you great coverage. So if you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down. I'm fine with that either way. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. That way you'll be alerted to all my future videos. They'll pop up right there in your news feed. So once again, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Until next time, this is Adam. See ya. Luminate Pack Light 16. I want to see some sort of a solar panel there. Yeah, battle box logo on the back. Something else for battle box. different uh, levels of illumination here. Kind of neat. Get my cheat sheet here and see what